What up, motherfuckers? I'm but not here. And today I'm gonna be reviewing the Kingpin tournament semi-finals, bro. Holy shit, I watched the semi-finals tournament pirated, bro. Think I'm gonna buy that shit, nigga? I ain't gonna buy nothing, nigga. I watched, I bought that shit. I, I bro, I went on TikTok. I searched up Kingpin tournament semi-finals. Or drop, and these guys drop us. Click one of their links. When the Discord server, and I was watching that shit pirated. I was chilling like, yeah, nigga. Come on, nigga. Let's go, bro. But anyways, before this video starts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to join my Discord server. Link in the description. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to click that, click that link tree. Oh my social media is gonna be on link tree, baby. I looking sexy. Ah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but well, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna talk about all the fights because I'm not gonna talk about all the different fights. Everyone's. I'm gonna. Be, I'm just gonna be reviewing the the male, the men's side on, on the women's side. You know, six bar, the fucking goth bitch on the Kingpin tournament, the goth bitch. And she she faces other bitch. Don't know her name. Irrelevant piece of irrelevant piece of shit. But on the women's side, this the goth bitch. I'm just I'm just call her goth bitch. But her name is six Barbie. I think her name her name is Barbie. The goth bitch Barbie. She is she's like she has she's actually like has a lot of talent because she's very long, has crazy reach. So obviously she could use that to her advantage to her advantage. And on this night, she was just dominating her bro. She was absolutely destroying her opponent. I think it was uh, Elbrook's sister or something. She was destroying her fucking arm. Use the rage. Pop, 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 pop. She didn't do the elbow, but it was bang, bro. Like, pop, pop. No, the range. D, 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 D. The range. You know what I'm saying? It was actually really fucking amazing. Six. Barbie has a lot of talent. People, people were gassing about Elbrook. Elbrook, Elbrook is this. Elbrook is that. Nigga, like Elbrook is just an average influencer box YouTube women's boxer. I've seen better. But women's boxing, influencer boxing is you rarely see anyone that's good. There's like ninety nine, like ninety nine percent of the women's influencer bo boxers are pretty shit. They are. It's true. They're pretty shit. They're pretty embarrassing. They're pretty whack. But some, but the one percent which is good, is really rare. And Bob is one of the Bob. He has the potential to be the top of the top, of best influencer boxers. You know what I'm saying? So she uh, she was it was a really good fight. She was com doing a lot of combo combo work, jabbing pop pop pop, pretty good. The Elbrook side, Elbrook versus uh, what you call Elbrook versus the Brazilian bitch, bro. As soon as the Brazilian went out, the Brazilians in in, in Dublin Island they were going crazy, bro. Because obviously, uh, Nunes was fine in in Dublin Island, and the Brazilians go crazy for Nunes. So of course, when one of the Br Brazilian one of the Brazilian females were, were gonna fight, they were gonna go crazy for her, for her as well. She was coming out with the Brazilian and fighting and everything. She was going crazy and la, 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 going crazy mental. It was absolutely amazing, bro. And then when the fight happened, Elbrook absolutely dis got destroyed by the Brazilian bitch. It was absolutely crazy. I was shocked. She was because Elbrook was just moving forward. She wasn't like hitting. The, she wasn't like doing combination. She wasn't doing the jabs. And whenever she and she wasn't really hitting the body as much. But whenever she when whenever, whenever Elbrook did hit the body, she, she was actually hitting. She was hitting the body. Then the right hand hit the body. Then hook. Hit the body. Then hook. But whenever she tried to just uh, hit, the, uh, just go forward with this forward punch, it would never land. But and then and the last round, the uh, last ten seconds, she all of a sudden started to hit the body multiple times. And I started to hit body, hit her body more, but it was already too late because you were getting Elbrook was already getting dominated by the Brazilian bitch the whole time, and it was absolutely. I mean, she was getting fucked up. Elbow, elbow, bro, the fucking Brazilian bitch was just popping her head up. Pop, pop, pop. There were there were some moments where Elbrook was getting was was uh, was doing good, but bro, the Brazilian bitch was fucking her up. Then the huge, then the fucking what then then obviously she. When when the judges came in, the decision uh, came in. The fucking what do you call it? The Brazilian bitch was crying. They were going crazy. It was very emotional, bro. Proud proud uh, WGGs to Elbrook. She she lost. Hey, you lost one fight. Doesn't matter. You do you you had a good you had a good run. You know what I'm saying? But you come back from it. Influence influence boxing is not about the wins and losses, but how you come back and it's about how you promote yourself. You promote yourself good. You lost one fight. You come back again. You you, you come back again. All that shit. See what happens. I don't know if, if she's gonna fight again in the losers bracket or she might just say nah I'm gonna leave it. I don't know. But wait. But the thing is if because both sisters lost. So if they go find the loser bracket they would have to fa face each other. So would that mean they would have to face each other or would they just like scrap that out? But if they were to if they would have to face each other I would be like, damn bro. Two sisters fighting for each other just for the just get the just get the bronze belt medal. 
I don't know. We'll see what happens for the, the third the losing bracket for the women's side. But let's go on to the men's side. Let's go on to the co main event. I need Song Gim versus Jarvis. I need Song Gim versus Jarvis was actually a really, really, a really, very good, powerful, and just very entertaining fight. Since the beginning, bro. I told you. What did I tell you? If the, the, if the, if the rounds get any longer, if the, if, the, if, the, if, bro, if Jarvis. Just co- it keeps going on the rounds. You will get destroyed by the Anissa Gib. Five rounds, perfect for Anissa Gib. Anissa Gib came forward. Oh, in the first round, it was like it was like a testing of, a testing of distance. You know, what I'm saying like testing of distance. See how, see how, see they were like both feeling each other out. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing who 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 can catch you, who can catch you. Also, it was like a very slow paced first round. Jarvis is good in the first round. But the rest of the rounds, it was absolute domination by Jarvis. Uh, sorry, I need to give. And round three was was more it was like m- more showing that Aniska was on a whole different level. Aniska with with different combinations, right hook body, right left hook uh, headshot. You know, it was crazy different combinations by Aniska. It was absolutely beautiful. And then Jarvis kept going forward, but he was getting banged up, bro. And then the guy, bro, the guy was, bro, it was Aniska who was getting forward and his game. He was, bro, the guy was literally put it put it in the put it in the work. Against Anis, uh, against Jarvis, bro. He was, bro. Anis, Anis Hongye was pushing Jarvis back multiple times, making him work. And he was, getting, bro. There was one time, like in, like, in, just in, it was I think round three or round four, just two minutes of Anis Hongye just putting pressure on Jarvis, and he was just in the corner getting fucked up, in the corner or in the in the ring, get, uh, like in, in the ropes or whatever, getting fucked up, bro. This this is show, this, bro. And he said, and he, and then Anis kept saying, said it, said it perfectly in the face, face to face before the fight. He said, "Yo, you, you're, you bro. You're in the middle of the gym. You're in the doghouse getting whooped, bro. You're getting whooped. You're getting whooped in the doghouse. Because obviously, uh, Jarvis was tra- was training the, what you call it, in the doghouse. He's been training in the middle of the gym, get, get fucked up, game, get doing these tough sparring sessions for about like one year and a half or two years." And I'm like, where do you learn from it? You don't learn just by getting battered, just getting whooped, just getting fucked up. That's not how you learn, bro. What the fuck? How are you going to learn just by getting destroyed by high, super level experiences? The only thing you can learn is you just turn to a punching bag. You can, just get, you, can just hand, you can just take the punches. And that's exactly what Jobs did in the Tom Zanini fight and the Anissa Gim fight. He just he was just able to, he would, he would just able to, he was just able to handle the punches that he was getting thrown in. Because he's he so used to getting fucked up and getting whooped. In the doghouse, in the in the middle of the gym, that now when he when he's getting banged up and bang, bang, banged up by Anisan Gib, he's he's already used to it. So obviously that's why the Anisan Gib knockout didn't happen. That's why he won the whole dis- won the whole uh, that's why he won the whole fight, he won the whole five round run, five round fight because Jarvis has he's been used to taking punches and he's been trained to take punches. But that's not but that's that's not how you win a fight. It's not it's, you can't win a fight just by just by just taking punches, bro. You li- you're just literally turning into a t- punching bag at this point. But I'm not saying Jarvis was a punching bag in the fight. No, there was no way Jarvis was a punching bag. But I'm just saying like, but because in the, in the fight Jarvis was actually look was actually really good. He was actually really good. Jarvis was like obviously trying his best. D- um, I actually put, um, put 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 some shots in a couple put, put some couple shots in and and kind of caught anything a couple times. But Anissa was just absolutely dominant, bro. I need crazy how Anissa on Gib just keeps getting better and better and better, bro. It's just crazy. And now Anissa comes going to the finals. Jarvis should not should not take this loss as deep as she should, she should just take this loss as a learning as a learning lesson. And he could just go. And then I'm saying he's going on to the loser bracket to see who's going to face loser bracket. And we all know who's going to face for the, in the loser bracket Nunes, but I'm going to talk about that soon. But yeah, man. Crazy, it's crazy. Gib is just turning a long way. It's crazy how I need to go with you riding with uh, KSI, chilling with KSI. You know what I'm saying? He was rooting for KSI to win for his longer point two fight. And I love him. I need to give his, look at now. Look at him. Look at I need to him now. I need to him now. I need to him now. He's on man. He's on G. You know what I'm saying? He's a man of the plan. That's not something that doesn't make sense. He's a guy. He's a guy. Anyways, so let's move on to the semi, sorry, finals, let's move on to the final, baby, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> let's move on to the finals, the finals is basically King Kenny versus, King Kenny versus, uh, Windows and Nunes, that fucking event, I mean, that that match was absolutely crazy, the walkout, with when Windows and Nunes came out, it was 
crazy. It was so loud. It was thunderous, bro. And then the rapper came in. The Brazilian rapper. Everyone's going crazy. Oh, I don't know what the fuck this Brazilian rapper was saying, but it sounded it sounded fucking hard to the Brazilians because obviously the Brazilians understand. I don't know what the fuck he was saying, but it sounded hard. The fucking new Anderson Nunes was, was going past the crowd. When Anderson Nunes is getting touched, was getting touched up by the fans, touching up, touching him like he, touching him up like he's a fucking like he's a fucking god. It was fucking crazy. Then fucking King Kenny came out with the Brazilian flag, with the Brazilian outfit. It was he was drippy. It was fucking amazing. Obviously, people were booing him, but it was absolutely hilarious, bro. It was fucking hilarious. Holy shit! And then they're both getting ready, all that shit. And then I bro, as soon as the bell rang. Bro, King Kenny was literally, was literally on him with the jabs. Was literally on, uh, what you call it? Was literally on Nunes with the jabs. Jabs, him. triple jab, 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 right hook, boom, combinations. And he was just so comfortable in that ring. He was literally toying with, toying with Nunes, toying with Nunes, dancing around. It was like a Roy Jones, like Roy Jones, C- Ub- Ub- Chris Ubek Senior mixed together, Chris Ubek Senior mixed together, bro. It was absolutely beautiful. King Kenny. Is I literally turned himself into an influencer, YouTube boxing guard, bro, in that in that fucking fight. King Kenny literally showed that he's above he's a, he's above levels to every to almost to almost every influence influencer boxer, bro. He literally showed levels in that ring. He showed high fuck. He showed high fucking levels. It is scary, bro. These these top influencer boxers, these top five influencer boxers should be should be scared because he just proved that he's on a whole different fucking level, bro. King Kenny absolutely destroyed Nunes, bro. Nunes had no chance. He was bruised up, bro. And then in round two, it literally showed the body shot. Right hook came out of nowhere, quick. It was like it was it was literally preparing for that knockout, knockdown by just jab, 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 jab. Bro, King Kenny's jab is fucking lethal. Nunes could not was not, was not able to escape it. Because we uh, before that before that fight before the fight, Nunes was, there were like talks of Nunes is gonna go past the jab. He's gonna escape. It, he's gonna go in. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go. He's gonna, he's gonna go inside. He's gonna go inside. Body shot, repeat. Body shot, spine. Nunes, all that other shit. Boom, boom, boom. But hey. It didn't happen. Nunes was not able to escape the jab, and obviously, if, um, I think King Kenny was being a bit dirty. You know what I'm saying? Holding him and all that shit. But hey, professional boxer who's been in the game for like ten years be doing that shit. So smart, and plus he's being smart with it. Gotta do whatever it takes, but whatever it takes, yeah. Holy shit, it's crazy. King Kenny when he first started, bro, he didn't know how to. He didn't know how to throw a punch. His stance was absolutely bent. And now look at him. <laughs> Looking like a fucking influencer god, bro. He was like an influencer god, bro. Influencer god, bro. Oh my mama, bro. He looked like an influencer god. You know what I'm saying, bro? And now he's fa- now he's facing and King Kenny is now gonna be facing a Nissan game in the finals. You know how crazy that is. He's gonna be facing a Nissan game in the finals. Epo versus what's that guy? Mashiba, if you know what, what Hajim, if you see Hajim no Ipo, it's basically Ipo versus Mashiba in real life. King Kenny is Mashiba and, and Nissan Gibbs is Ipo. It's pretty crazy. So, Ip, uh, what you call it? Mm. And Nissan Gibbs, the pressure combination fighter versus King Kenny, the slow paced hitman style, slow, sneaky, sneaky paced, dangerous counter, counterfeit fighter are clashing. In the finals, that I can't wait for it. I can't. I'm fucking shocked this happened. Two, two of the top UK influencer boxers are going head to head. That is crazy to me. Holy shit! No one expected this. No one, truly, no one expected this. And he's not Gib. Would have never expected he's gonna fight King Kenny. Some fucking I don't know, child friendly YouTuber, bro. Holy shit! King Kenny. It's gonna be fighting. I need some deep it, bro. I don't know who's gonna win it because it's gonna be a very, bro. It could be a close fight. Imagine, imagine the fight. I need someone just, I need someone just knocks out King Ken. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not realistic. Cause he's gonna knock out Jarvis. But oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. King Ken versus Anis on get, bro. It's gonna be an amazing. It's gonna be a circus. Of, it's gonna be a circus of a fight, bro. I don't know when. The, I don't know when the fight is gonna be. They're probably gonna announce it in a couple of days. But wow. This uh, this event was actually this event was actually really good, bro. The lights, the, the fucking sponsorships, the fucking promotion, 
promotion was absolute shit. But the but in the event though, the lights, the crowd, the entrance, it was absolutely amazing, bro. The, the fucking everything about it was absolutely amazing. The event, the event was absolutely was 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 about to be cancelled. Remember when it was about to be cancelled before this? It was about to get be cancelled because it was getting bankrupt. They were paying they were paying they were paying, they were paying their fighters way too much money. But the zone uh, came in and saved the event, and now and now it was on the zone. That was that was the only reason that the the event came on. Came, the only thing that's all that was the only reason that event carried on was because of the zone. Uh, bought a uh, kingpin. If the zone, if the zone did not bought by kingpin, it would have been finished. But the zone saw potential of seeing seeing an influencer YouTube boxing tournament. So hey, let's buy it. And now they bought it, and this is why the event ca- it came about. And it did not disappoint, but it definitely did not disappoint. It was absolutely amazing. Car FC the finals. King Kenny has won the top two wins, bro. We bro. King Kenny before this, bro, they were like doubting King Kenny because after the Ashley Rex fight, they were doubting King Kenny. He was like, "Wow, this guy, dude, bro, he ass, bro. Like, bro, he couldn't, even, couldn't, even, couldn't, even, couldn't even throw any punches. He couldn't even throw any punches. He barely threw any punches in the Ashley Rex fight. He was getting dominated. And then after, and after that, he fought. He beat uh, what you call it, that nerdy little tall ass white boy. And then he destroyed him with this and just dancing around like it's a fucking anime character, like a super villain. It was absolutely crazy. I liked his ear. Amazing, bro. It was fucking. It was like, uh, Tommy. F- no, it was like a Tyson Fury versus uh, Leon Tavares. Remember that? Do you remember the Tyson Fury versus Dante Ward? I don't know if it was the third or second one, where he licked his ear. Tyson Fury licked, licked uh, Ty- uh, the, um, Dante Ward's ear, because he knew he was dominating him. It was, it was, it was exactly how King Kenny did. King Kenny was uh, when it's a new, when it's a new King Kenny didn't lick his ear, but like he was like sticking his tongue like ah. It was crazy. Absolutely yeah. amazing fight. Can't wait to see King Kenner versus uh, any single game. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, see you, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to join my Discord server. I think the, in the description, I got all the OnlyFans, all the news, everything. It's just content. going to be on my, on my Discord. Don't forget, don't forget to click my link tree. Almost all you need is going to be on my link tree. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, see you in the next video. Bye, you fucking black sleeves.